Hi, good morning. I'm Chef Regina Charbonneau, and I wanted to welcome you to Regina's Kitchen. I'm at my cooking school today, and as I said last week, I'm testing recipes for my new cookbook. Um, anyway, all the recipes you can find on reginaskitchen.com. So today I'm going to make a green goddess dressing. Last week I opened anchovies to make a classic Caesar, and I thought, well, I'll use them up and make one of my sal favorite salad dressings, and that is the green goddess. And I'm gonna put it on what is not traditionally put on a salad niçoise. This is gonna be quick and easy, and I'm just gonna go over the ingredients with you and show you what we've got going. So let me get you to the right camera, and here we go. So what we're going to do over here is we have the basic ingredients for green goddess. So you have your parsley and green onions. And I love fresh tarragon if I can find it. Uh, we have garlic, anchovies, lemon, red wine vinegar. And I don't, I usually put dry mustard or Dijon mustard. And I didn't have that today. So I've got a beautiful tarragon mustard that I will use instead. I get this across the street at the cute little olive oil shop and uh, one of my favorite mustards. So anyway, very simple. The base of this is sour cream and mayonnaise. So you, you take, and again, I'll post the recipe on reginaskitchen.com. And you take your cup of sour cream and put that in there and then so it's one part or uh, two parts sour cream to one part mayonnaise so a half a cup of mayonnaise now you can make your own mayonnaise which I can I'll show you one of these days so we've got those and you just put everything in we're going to add the garlic and let's add a little salt, a little pepper, and then usually I put about three anchovies. I do equal part anchovy to garlic, if that helps you. So I've got three cloves of garlic, so we'll do three anchovies and some fresh lemon, which always brightens up that salad dressing and just about a teaspoon of vinegar. If I had cider vinegar, I would use that, but I have some red wine today. And then we're gonna add some of this good tarragon mustard. So about two teaspoons. We don't want it too mustardy. You want those fresh, uh, the fresh parsley and green onions to all come out. So I'm not gonna put all of the herbs in yet. And if you don't have uh, an emulsifier, I really recommend spending the $20 to get one. Uh, they're just so great for salad dressings and to make cream soup, so it's definitely worth having in your kitchen and I use it all the time to make my salad dressing, so you'll notice. And so. You see how quickly this is coming together and emulsifying? Uh, the key is I wanna really get these herbs pureed so we get that nice so what I'm going to do is we are going to get a plate over here and I'm going to put together a good salad this was I've actually got it in the kitchen I forgot my plate I'll get that It's 
been one of those mornings, so. Okay, get this in frame for you. One of these days I'll figure that out, I guess towards me. Here we go, closer, better. Okay, so selling this was. I have this white Bonita tuna. You can get this um, at gourmet shops. It really makes a difference when you have good uh, tuna and oil. And so if you see, I've got my soft boiled eggs there. So always the salad nissoise, you want your green beans and potatoes. There's just little sliced red potatoes. And I love the freshness of radishes on my nissoise and some potato, I mean tomatoes, different colored tomatoes. And after I put my tuna, and I'll be honest, usually if I'm making this and I'm going to eat it right away, I toss my salad in the dressing first, and then I top it because it really is better when you get, you know, you're, when you're making a salad, you really should toss the greens to coat them evenly. Now, uh, I promise not every salad dressing I make has anchovy in it. Uh, I'll do my mustard vinaigrette for you in the near future. I'm kind of focusing on salads this month, uh, and I'll be doing this on Wednesdays at 11 is my goal. Uh, today it didn't quite work out that way because my batteries were dead in my camera, but anyway, that's the goal is Wednesdays at 11, and I will try to be better about being on a schedule. And then... Let's put some of this good tuna. See the nice that of this tuna that's packed in the oil, you see that it's whole. You really get good, nice pieces that you can break up with the fork when you go to eat, but it's prettier on the plate. And then let's do some capers on that. I mean, isn't this a great summer salad? And of course you have to have olives. And I think I'm gonna call my friend John Bergeron and tell him to come pick this up because it's his favorite. And I usually make this for him. And then I'll show you too, um, I'll grab a knife real quick and show you the soft boiled eggs and on my YouTube channel, which you can get to through my website, reginaskitchen.com. I have a great little video on the six and a half minute eggs. Let me get a knife and cut those and we'll be done. So, but, see, so do you see how nice, not overcooked, your nice creamy yolk? Now that is a perfect six and a half minute egg. So, and now we've got the green goddess dressing, which I will wait to put on so somebody can enjoy this salad. And let me get a little tasting spoon and try the dressing and make sure it's balanced. Oh yeah, that is a good green goddess. And we, um, you know, this is a great dressing or a good vinaigrette for your salad nissoise. Let's see if you can get it better. Let's see if I can do a close up. I'm still learning all of this, but we're getting there. So that's the salad nissoise. And I will see y'all soon. So just go to reginaskitchen.com for some recipes. Um, getting better at this each time, charging the batteries, all the little things, but I will see y'all soon. Um, let me just come over here and all right. So I'm saying bye. Whoops, I'm not even looking at the camera. Anyway, I will see y'all soon, bye and out.